the Eureka Prizes. It's the perfect platform to champion the importance of science in our world. It is a night to celebrate science. It's a night to celebrate scientists. It's a night to enthuse the community about science and what scientists are actually doing. I know that over the years the Eureka Prize has had influence on the way people think about science and also of course on the way young people uh, think about science and many of whom uh, then go on to be scientists and pursue their dream. 11-year-old Daisy Jeffrey was a highly commended Eureka finalist in 2013 and has a natural curiosity for how things work. In my film, I asked how does this bridge carry so many people and how it works? Well, if you look at the Anzac Bridge, or, you know, the Harbour Bridge, you think, how is that going to stay up? The cables are subject to tension. She's fine, but I want to talk to Miss Piggy. When an object is being pulled two ways, it creates a force called tension. What? The way I most like to look at things is go, how does this work and how I can get more out of this? I'm quite interested in psychology. I find that really interesting, the way the brain works. Last year, my grandfather died of dementia. To see your own grandparent slowly fading away is just the most horrible experience. I really wanted to find out more about how it worked and how we could stop it or even just delay it. When I was looking at the Australian Alzheimer's website, they're just constantly saying, Oh, ballroom dancing, you know, will delay dementia. Two, three. You can see why, because you do have to remember the steps and the timings, you know, would stimulate the brain to remember and keep working. You do have to ask questions about the way things work, so it's such an important thing to ask questions. Two, three, one, two. Never cease to be curious. Really good science needs a curious mind. Uh, that is always prepared to wonder. Catalyst was curious to know what sort of science questions young people want answers to. So we put the word out and selected three to put to Australia's top scientists. The first one comes from 11-year-old Amir Farag. What makes us human? I think the answer is that of the three kinds of chimpanzees, the ordinary chimp, the bonobo, and the human chimpanzee, we are the only ones that value learning. We learn from science. You can tell the chimps that don't learn from science, they tend to be a bit more hairy-chested, but they're the ones who aren't interested in climate change and what it has to warn us about. Science is critical. Our second question is from Grace Borchard in Queensland. Why is outer space dark? This is a famous question called Olver's Paradox. Space is infinite, so everywhere you look you should see stars, and the whole sky should be bright. However, the universe had a beginning, 14 billion years ago. So even at light speed, there hasn't been enough time for light from most of the universe to reach us yet. That's certainly a big topic, which three-time Eureka Prize winner Brandon Gifford understands only too well. Brandon spent his Eureka Prize money setting up a wildlife workshop at Casino High School in northern New South Wales. Snakes. Lizards. We'll be exploring their skin and scales that help them to become the legendary lizard. Once a age, a spider is ready to reproduce. I fell in love with critters and spiders and snakes and all those creepy crawlies when I was very little. I never got scared of them and my parents continued to encourage me with it and it's just grown into a huge passion. I started filming wildlife at about 13. I just had to find different locations and amazing places to just unravel some beautiful wildlife. I grew up in Casino on the New South Wales north coast and there's a lot of bushland and farmland that surrounds and of course with that comes a lot of wildlife. My Nana and Pop's place is where I spend a fair bit of my time filming. They've got a river right near their house and they've got a rainforest so I could unravel a lot of spiders, a lot of snakes, a fair few creepy crawlies here. It's a great location. Ultimately I want to push the conservation message because it is critical. So we found a dead red-necked paddy melon. I think it could have a joey. We really need to look after what we have and I want to educate people about that. Well, welcome guys to the wildlife workshop. We've got here uh, Bernie and he's a black-headed python. 
why don't we take him around the group? At Casino High School, we spent the Eureka Science Prize, the money that we won on a wildlife workshop, which is designed to inspire the younger generations, then the next leaders and decision makers in Australia. And if we can inspire them to be passionate about wildlife and its protection, then we're going to see its survival. One of the important things I think for young people is to have good mentors. Somebody like Brandon's critically important because there's not a huge age gap between him and the other students that he's dealing with. We need more young people to go back into their schools and to say, this is what interests me, that this is what can come from it, and why don't you join me? Science ought to be taught as it's practised, because when you see it in practice, it's awesome. You're certainly a curious bunch. Your enthusiastic response to our call out for questions has been overwhelming. But sadly, we have time for only one more question. And that's from Rishabh Jain at Penrith High School in New South Wales. If you had all the money in the world, what problem would you solve? I'd spend the money on giving everyone the best possible education in the world, particularly in science, because science is really what drives the right outcomes uh, for the planet, understanding where we're going to go in the future, and how people and our children are going to get the best life possible. So we should all raise a glass to those who demonstrate and will demonstrate tonight and all those who aren't here tonight that science is awesome. And if you'd like more information about this year's Australian Eureka Prizes or if you want to watch an extended interview with Professor Ian Chubb, visit our website. <laughs>